Christmas. This means Midori goes to school by bicycle. This means Taro goes to the university by bus. Here we have the sentence wa, de, e, ikimasu. With ikimasu, de indicates how a person goes somewhere. It indicates means or method. Actually, we've already seen de used this way. Do you remember how to say with a pencil, as in, may I write this with a pencil? That's right, in pizza de. This de is used to show means. Let's have Minisan say our two new sentences for us. Midori san wa jitensha de gakkou e ikimasu. Midori san wa jitensha de gakkou e ikimasu. Now, what about e? It is used to tell their destinations. Gakkoe. To school. Daigakue. To the university. And do you remember these sentences? In them, e functions to indicate direction, doesn't it? The e in today's sentences is the same, although today it shows destination rather than direction. Now, let's watch another part of our skit and find the point that we're going to study next. 加藤さんの奥さんは毎日家で働きます。台所の仕事もします。部屋の掃除もします。洗濯もします。加藤さんの奥さんは毎日家で働きます。台所の仕事もします。部屋の掃除もします。洗濯もします。Here we learned about the work that Mrs. Kato does every day. There were several new words, so I'll explain them first. This means at home. Here, de doesn't indicate means or method, but place. It's the same as the de in soko de tomete kudasai. Kato-san no oku-san wa mainichi uchi de hatarakimasu. 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 This means work. The first sentence, therefore, means Mrs. Kato works at home every day. Daidokoro no shigoto mo shimasu. In the second sentence, Daidokoro no shigoto means kitchen work, and shimasu means do. Heya no soji mo shimasu. In sentence three, heya no soji means cleaning the rooms. Sentaku mo shimasu. In the last sentence, sentaku means laundry or the washing. What I'd like you to pay attention to first is how mo is used in sentences two, three, and four. This mo is the same as the one in sore mo watashi no nimotsu desu. There, it indicated that a certain piece of baggage also belonged to the speaker. Here, it's used to tell that Mrs. Kato does not only this, but also this, and something else as well, as she works at home. It's used in telling about additional things. If you want to mention only one thing that she does, you should say, or, or, in other words, for only one kind of work, you would use o shimasu instead of mo shimasu. Let's have Minesan repeat the sentences from the skit for us once more. 
加藤さんの奥さんは毎日うちで働きます台所の仕事もします部屋の掃除もします洗濯もします I hope it's clear why も was used Something else to note is that the words カトさんの奥さんは appear only in sentence one and are omitted completely from sentences two, three, and four. This omission occurs because it is understood who is being talked about. No word like she would be natural either. This sort of omission is very common in Japanese, so try and get used to it. Next, let's look at some writing. Ha. He. Who. He. Ho. Today we're going to practice the writing and pronunciation of these five syllables. Ha. 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 Hai. Hako. Hachi. Hi. 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 This syllable sounds very similar to the English word he, but the Japanese sound is more clipped and is produced with more friction. Hito. Asahi. ふふふ To produce this sound, bring your upper and lower lips close together and let your breath pass through the narrow opening between them. Be careful not to tense your lips or round them or stick them out. Try to keep the opening between your lips level and flat as you pronounce this sound. The sound in f differs from both an English H and an English F. Be particularly careful not to let your upper teeth touch your lower lip as in the English sound f. He. 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 ほほほんにほん We've come pretty far in our presentation of hiragana letters and there aren't too many more to go. Are you working on them regularly? At this point, let's watch part five of our skit about Yang once more from beginning to end. Here is Kato Sans house. さんの奥さんは毎朝六時に起きます。加藤さんは毎朝六時半に起きます。加藤さんは朝新聞を読みます。それでは全国の朝の表情をリレーで見ていただきたいと思いますまずは青森のぶさんでございますのぶさんおはようございますおはようございますおはよう,おはようお私今何時今7時だよえー、遅れ早く早く早く早く加藤さんの家ではいつも7時頃朝ごはんを食べます<笑>